Hi guys, thanks once more for coming around. Thanks for clicking on this video. And um, before I start, please, please, please just try to click on the like button, subscribe, and share this video if you like it at the end. Thank you very much. And secondly, I would love to say that if you're watching this video and you have any real life events, of course, stories, anything you want to tell me about fake family and friends, do you know anyone around you that you perceive as fake? Do you, know, do you know any energy around you, any love around you that you perceive as fake? Do you have any funny story, any funny activity of people around you that you want to share with me, you want to share with the world? You can share it through me and I'm going to portray your story as my story. Of course, I'm going to make you anonymous. So please send me your stories to me. My DM is open. Send your stories and I'll share it like my story. Thank you very much. So today I'll be talking about how to spot fake friends. Hmm. How to spot fake friends. Oh. Yeah, because the Bible said that the heart of man is desperately wicked. Remember, I always make references to Jesus. The same people that hailed Jesus when he was entering Jerusalem. Hail the king, hail the king of the Jews. They were putting palm, palms, palms on the floor. These statues, those are the same people that shouted, Crucify him, crucify him. A free Barnabas, a thief. So, in life, the people that will lift you are the people that will bring you down. But don't worry, don't be worried about that. Don't be worried about that. Just be ready for it. Be ready for the worst. Jesus Christ is already ready. He was ready for the worst. So be ready for whatever happens. Now back to the topic of the how to spot fake friends. Hmm. How to spot fake friends. Now, let me start with this story. There is this guy. He was my old school friend. Yeah. And he came to my DM one day on Instagram. He said, he um, was complaining that um, he needs money, he's broke, he needs to pay some hospital bills, his, his, his mom is sick and dying, he's been spending money for so many years on her, and now he's broke, he needs my financial assistance. He's just begging, lamenting and everything. I was really touched, of course. <laughs> of course, I was really, really touched. And at that point, I did not have Naira in my Naira account. I could not send him money because he's in Nigeria. I couldn't send him. So I had, to, I had to just pray with him. Told him that his mother would be well in Jesus' name. Every two I, 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 I even quoted a part in the Bible for him. She's healed by stripes. Every two will be fine with your mom. Don't worry. Just be strong. I gave him words of encouragement. But in his second thought, in his second thought, do you know that this guy has been on my Instagram for, for over five years? You don't see his comments. You, see, you don't see his comments. On my, you, you don't see his likes. You don't see his comments. He sees my post and he overlooks. The worst part is he even goes to check my stories regularly. Anything he checks. Anything he checks. Any post he sees. But he will never like or comment. This guy has been there for over five years. This guy, this guy used to be close. We used to be close back then in school. You understand what I'm saying? But all of a sudden, he just became a monitoring spirit. And I expected him to keep that same energy because I usually see his activities in other people's comment section. Celebrities' comment section, of course. You know, I always tell you. These people, they are always in um, Mr. Macaroni's comment section, Files the Bad Guy, um, whatever. You are always in Tunde Nuts comment section. So, he's always there chasing clouds under celebrities post. But his own guy, his own guy, is rubbish to him. Now, he's coming to his guy's DM to so ask for help. Now, I don't know, the Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. I just jump to, I want, I want to just lecture us on how to beg. Begging 101. Yeah, how to beg for money. Yeah, begging one on one. If you want to beg someone for money, you want to you want to seek financial assistance from people, and you don't have direct contact to them. 
you don't have a direct relationship with them at the, at the, at the moment. What you just do is, you track them on social media. When you add them on social media, engage their posts. Engage them always. Make sure you try to get their attention. In fact, sometimes be the first to post under their comment section. Once in a while, say hello in their, in their DM. Even if they don't reply you, just leave it at that. Just say you're checking up on them. Do you understand? Hello, how are you doing? Long time. Just checking up on you, bro. You understand? Know like, if, if that person has a YouTube channel, just try your best to subscribe. Comment on the person's YouTube channel. Follow the person on Twitter. Follow the person on Facebook. Follow the person everywhere. See, give the person bumper to bumper. The person will be like, wow, who is this person? Even if that person is proud, like, and he has sense, he will come down and say, wow. This is my friend, they really encourage me. This is my friend, is really, really encouraging me. This is my old friend. And if you come to the person's DM tomorrow to ask for help, the person will gladly do it. He will go out of his way. He does not even mind borrowing money to give you. But it's not when you've been a monitoring spirit, when you've been a fake blood, then you come to the person's DM. When you, people just want to use you. That's the point. People just want to use you. You're like, you're like trash to them. They don't need you for anything. They're not interested in making you better. The second class or the second set of people I want to talk about. Hmm. You see, these are the congratulations people. Congratulations. You know what I mean by that? I always tell people, I say, be careful about those people that do not tell you congratulations when you win. When you post an achievement on social media, you see, they just ignore. They don't. They don't, they don't celebrate with you, your birthdays, your, your whatever anniversaries, they don't celebrate with you. But be more wary about those people that says congratulations, congratulations, con they are always saying congratulations. You see, a few of them are genuine, but guess what? <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. There are some congratulations you need to really be careful about. I know what I'm saying. Let me give you a practical example. So, when I got my first skilled job here in, in Europe, as I'm just, just in an IT room precisely, so I, my neighbors, of course, they were excited. And, hey, John, wow, congratulations, makes sense. You know, one, so one day I go back from work and they were all gathered in the kitchen, like, I think it was just four flats, four flats to one kitchen then. So they were all gathered in the kitchen and then one was that's precisely three guys and two girls. Because I think they had two female visitors. So they were five guys. Oh John, congratulations, got a job. No, I was the first to get a job among my classmates then. Yeah, as a master student. I was still a student when I got this job. And why they were telling me congratulations, congratulations? One of them picked me out from the crowd, or from, from the gathering, took me to a private place and said, Guy, I'm really, really happy for you. I'm really, really happy for you that you got this job, man. I really can't believe this. I'm so happy for you, man. Success, man. I wish you all the best. But be very, very careful. These guys there telling you congratulations. Not all of them wish you well. Not all of them. Just be very, very careful, guy. I know it's how they tell you. I know what I'm telling you. Just be very good. That was what he told me. And of course, it appeared like I took it lightly, but I didn't. I just told him, oh, no shit, no shit. I shook his hand, like, oh. As time went on, I realized that this guy was just a monitoring spirit in my life. This same guy that called me out to tell me that I should be careful about others. This is the same guy that instigated the gossip that um, this guy is not, I don't think this guy got a skill job. I think this guy is still a cleaner. Yeah, obviously. He's still a cleaner. He still does this um, on skill jobs, this student job. You know, when you come to Europe as a student, you do this um, mini jobs, whatever. It could, um, it could be catering, it could be kitchen assistance, it could be office cleaning, you know. And most times you do these jobs through recruitment agencies. You understand? And when I was working with the recruitment agencies, I was wearing black on black. Most recruitment agencies, they always prefer you wear black on black. 
I don't know. They have their different uniforms or colors. I was wearing black on black to work every day. Black top, black lace, and all, and all, black shoes, and all these things. So, coincidentally, this new job I got, we are also required to wear black on black. Now, remember, this is a skilled job, not an unskilled job. This is an IT role. But the company's policy is for all staff from the top to the bottom, all staff to be in black on black every day. Black is the official color. You understand? So, this guy's a this, this, this same guy was spreading the rumors that, ah, guy, see the way John dresses to work, the same way he, dresses, he was dressing before when he was cleaning, when he was doing kitchen work, when he was doing um, catering work. He's still wearing black. I don't think this guy is in an IT room. So I think there was a question he asked me about my job, um, about my job, and I was like, mm. I couldn't give him a precise answer. I said then we're still undergoing training. So he, went, he, was, he was not telling people behind me that, can you imagine, I even asked him a job about, I even asked him a question about his job, and he couldn't even give me a precise answer. He was telling me that I got undergoing training for the past two weeks. What kind of training is that? So this guy was, this, this guy was the one telling people that I don't think John is in a skilled job. He's just lying to us. John is still cleaning. He's still, he's still cleaning the toilets. He's still washing the bathrooms. Was telling people that's good, and it was the same person that pulled me out to tell me to be careful for others. So you see this set of people. Oh my God! You have to, you have to have wisdom. This guy is still on my social media platforms. Almost on my social media platforms. See today, the guy is the pure monitoring spirit. In fact, that guy hates me. He, he doesn't know that I know him. You know I'm a spiritual man. I'm not. I don't. I don't. I don't think like canal people. You know what I'm saying? So, the guy doesn't know my, I know him, but I know every of his moves. If he sees me today on the street, he'll try to shine his teeth with me. But of course, you know me, I always tell people, <laughs> facts. My mouth is too big, I can't hide it. Now, that's that. Now, we have the next set of people. I call these ones um, the friends that can't accept the truth. You see, these friends that can't accept the truth. You see, those friends you try to correct, those friends you try to, those friends you try to tell, oh, babe, what you're doing doesn't make sense. So I, I don't like the way you're being arrogant to these guys. I don't like the way you're being, you're treating these people. Uh, it's not good. Don't talk to people like this now. It's not, it doesn't make sense now. You don't pass that one now. You're bigger than that. Stop it. You see, these friends that do not like you telling them the truth, they don't like you going against them. They don't like you being, they see you as an opposition when you're trying to correct them. Even if you politely try to correct them, they see you as an opposition. And they begin to withdraw. They begin to withdraw because you're telling them the truth. Be careful about those friends. Be very, very careful. I, I remember there was, <coughs> there was a female friend in quotes. Because I used to think she was a friend. So I called her up one day on the phone. I said, hey, babe, what's up now? How are you? Um, oh, wow, now for you. You've not even, I don't even see you. You're my... You're on my Instagram, but you're not even encouraging me. You're just there like you're not seeing me. Mm -mm. At least just try to subscribe to my YouTube now. I sent her my link. Try to subscribe to my YouTube now. Try to at least once in a while participate. I mean, at least you know I'm always in your comment section anytime you post. Although she doesn't post regularly, but anytime she posts. You get said, Oh, John, I'm going through a lot. You don't know what people are going People are going through a lot in this life. Nobody has, nobody has time. Mm -hmm. The people should start telling you what they are going through. Mm, all this liking or commenting or, or subscribing, uh, but all these things are very, very stressful. This, 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 this. She gave me a million reasons why she can't participate or why she can't engage me on social media, why she can't subscribe to my YouTube channel. But guess what? I blocked her. I blocked her not just on social media, I blocked her from my life. Because you see these people that always when you when you are always exerting energy, begging your friends to love you, when you're begging people around you around you to like you, when you are when you're trying to convince people to support you, just know, know that is a red flag. That is a red flag. You don't have to you don't have to exert energy to to, to make people like you or to make people love you. 
people around you, they want, if they want to support you, they have good heart, they're going to do it without you stressing yourself. Do you understand? You can't stress yourself to get friends. No, you don't even need people to like. You don't even need friends. You know, that's the secret. You don't need friends. You don't need people to like. You don't need many people to love you. You only need one person. Aside heaven, apart from Jesus Christ, on earth here, you only need one person on earth. So, if one person on this earth loves you, that's fine. That's perfectly grand. But guess what? If 5 million people should love you, just know that 5 million people will hate you. The more friends, the more enemies. Keep your circle small so that you have rest of mind. Please like and subscribe to this video and share as much as you can. Thank you.